today we're going to do BIY challenge number five and this is my own take on an amber ale with all Australian ingredients so we're going I'm calling it an Australian amber ale the recipe will follow and some more of the brew day The important thing when mashing in with all grain is don't be greedy, don't add more grain than you need to and you'll get a better mash, more efficiency. Alright, we have finished the 60 minute mash and we're about to start sparging. The mash was done at 67 degrees for 60 minutes. I know traditional sparging techniques say to always have the water above the grain bed, um, but from what I've seen and read about, it's best to let the grain farther run almost dry from the water before you start sparging and another good tip with uh, these type of units is you can save yourself a lot of time if you get the if you turn on both burners sorry both both heating elements and you get to the boil you start working your way towards the boil while you're sparging. So I'm up to 80 degrees Celsius obviously um, already and by the time I finish sparging that'll be pretty much close to boiling so I'll be able to throw my hops straight in. I'll get back to sparging. Okay we're just about to get to the boil. I've thrown in some Australian Pride of Ringwood hops for my bittering edition. And we're about to throw in the flame out edition of Galaxy, Topaz and Summer Hops. Thanks Ryan. Get it melt. And we'll turn the boiler off. And we'll let it whirlpool for 15 minutes. Remember that yeast starter we made the other day? With the Cooper's Pale Ales? Well, I used all Australian malts, all Australian hops being Pride of Ringwood, Topaz, Summer and Galaxy and now Cooper's Australian Yeast. Good brew day.